You guys know about speed limits? Some of you watching this have probably been in some kind of car ride at least once in your life. Whether it be a visit to a friend's house or a whole road trip, you always see something common to pretty much any time you drive. And those are speed limits, depicted by signs at the side of the road. They tell what speed you should stick to by the numbers of kilometers you pass in an hour, or as the unit is actually called, kilometers per hour, or miles per hour if you're from the United States. You can match your vehicle's speed to these speed limits by just checking your speedometer and what number it's pointing to, which is also based on the kilometers per hour unit, or miles per hour unit. Hang on a second. Why do they tell you your speed based on kilometers traveled in an hour? Why not something more comprehensive like meters traveled in a second or feet traveled in a second? I mean, seriously, one hour of time just feels so vague or easy to make a wrong estimate with. At least for some people like me, anyway. It's a fairly long unit of time, so depending on whether you are doing something boring, like doing nothing in the car ride, or having fun like listening to a hard song with friends, the perception of one hour will vary, like a lot. So if I'm given something like 1200 kilometers per hour or 50 miles per hour for an object, I'm just left wondering how people even manage to get an idea of the object's speed. Maybe they just have a thought process that says something like, if the speed is under 10, it must be pretty slow. If it's between 10 and 100, then it's as fast as a vehicle, typically. If it's between 100 and 1000, it's really fast. And if it's above 1000, it's like a flash of light when it moves. But that kind of thought process just doesn't work with me. On the other hand, seconds are a pretty comprehensive unit of time. Because to get a sense of how long it is, all you have to do is take something like a stopwatch, start it, and see the seconds ticking. At the same time, if you have a sense of how long one meter or one foot is, you can get a good idea of how fast something is going in a second. For example, if I say 50 meters per second, that is 164 feet per second, and you know a building 50 meters tall, you can just imagine a body traveling that entire building's height on a single second of time. Besides, it is also presumably used by rocket scientists. So, I've always been wondering why everyone uses per hour units, and not per second units. So, the best explanation I could find for this was that it was basically for people's convenience. When trains were a relatively new invention and people would use them to go over long distances, it was found to be more convenient to use per hour units. Because that way passengers could easily estimate how many hours it would take for them to reach their destination with the distance to it. This still applies to people today, because they're used to their travel distances being multiple kilometers long, and their travel time being at least somewhere under an hour long. Well, most trips are usually minutes long anyway, so it doesn't make sense why people didn't use something like meters per minute. But anyways, otherwise if they used per second units, well, they're not going to take the time to divide their estimate by 3600 to get the number of hours it will take. After all, they don't care about how the train or car looks when it is moving fast. They only care about how much time they have to do business. So the majority of people seem to find that convenient enough for their everyday life. I am not one of those people, however, so the usage of those units bothers me when I want to get a real sense of how fast something is going. I'm not a road trip person, you know. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to get people to ditch per hour units entirely because that would be inconvenient for everyone and pretty stupid. But I honestly wish there was at least something like a meters per second conversion on the side of the kilometers per hour readings for people who want to understand the real speed of something. Now, one last thing, of course, I know there is a way to convert the units. To go from kilometers per hour to meters per second and vice versa, you divide or multiply it by 3.6 respectively. To go from miles per hour to meters per second and vice versa, you divide or multiply 2.2369 respectively. To go from kilometers per hour to feet per second or vice versa, you divide or multiply it by 1.09728 respectively. And to go from miles per hour to feet per second or vice versa, you have to multiply or divide by 1.466 respectively. So that's a bit of mathematics for you. Anyway, I'll be here waiting for the day I get to conveniently see meters per second measurements on road signs and speed limits whenever. Well, hello guys. Uh, 
Sorry about my almost 11 month long hiatus. Uh, I was busy having an iPad storage crisis and, uh, well, I had schoolwork to do, but anyway, I would like to thank you for being patient for another upload. And also, I've actually utilized this time to help myself get a better understanding of how to draw, prop draw properly, um, sort of. I've actually been practicing and I hope this video will turn out to be better than the last by a significant amount. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, goodbye, guys.